Hey guys, this is Fiverr. So a lot of people have been asking me about Lethal Pride, which is one of five timeless jewels that were added in Legion. And it is not quite obvious what it does if you just read the tooltip on it. So I figured I'd make this short video and explain what it does and how it works. So Lethal Pride works in a way that it changes the surrounding modifiers within this radius. So these smaller nodes get extra strength on them. This one gets two extra strength, two extra strength, etc. These smaller named nodes get four extra strength and the keystone nodes get an extra modifier at the bottom of the tooltip. So you'll see this one gets 4% increased life, 20% uh, increased melee damage, regen, stun duration, leech, etc. Now it doesn't always give you the same modifiers. And there are three factors that determine what modifiers you will get. The first one is where you place it. So since different nodes give you different modifiers, then placing it on different uh, spots in the passive tree can change how good it is for you. So when you get one of these, it's always a good idea to try it in all the different dual sockets that you're using. Now the second modifier that determines what you get from it is the number on it. On this one, I have 17,168, for instance. But if I were to change it, if I were to use a Divine Orb on it, you'll see that the number changed, and I will now get different modifiers. So I get increased melee damage there instead of life, more increased melee damage, melee critical strike chance, maximum life, melee damage, melee damage. This is a really good one. And... The third modifier is the name. You'll see that it says K on there. The only thing the name changes is if you sh uh, if you place it near a bigger keystone. So now instead of acrobatics here, I get strength of blood. You can also get kiloava, or you can get rakiata at the end of it. So now I, now I have K on. These are the only three factors, and it is impossible to know in advance if you're buying a lethal pry that will be good for you or not and the only way to know for sure is to get one like get the cheapest one that you can find and use divine orbs on it until you find a good one it seems very complex when you just look at it in like at first glance but once you understand the mechanic it is very simple but there are thousands of variations and it is a really really powerful uh, jewel just like the other timeless jewels for my frostblades raider this one is incredibly strong it also helps you a lot to reach your strength cap if you look at how much strength i would get from this one you'll see that it gives me well 70 extra strength now i think that is really it it isn't more complex than that so i hope this was somewhat helpful to you if you were wondering. Thank you for watching and I don't know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.